I'm Chef Kari for Indigo. Today, we're gonna to make the best ever tomato soup recipe. Our first step, we have to turn our oven on to broil. This is where all the magic is gonna happen with our soup. We're gonna get all the goodness and yummy through our broiling process. Our second step, we're gonna grab, look at these lovely tomatoes. I get excited when I see tomatoes like this. We're gonna grab our yummy little cherry tomatoes. We're gonna put them in the bowl. Maybe six, eight, doesn't matter. Now we're gonna take some of my nice ripe tomatoes. I need about eight, six to eight of them. Now we're gonna roughly chop the tomatoes in the bowl. We're gonna add two cloves of garlic. Just smash that. Wham! Then we have one large red onion or two small. But we want it even size because when it goes under the broiler, we want it to cook evenly. We'll add it in there. We need some fresh herbs. Some basil. I love using dried oregano, especially in a cooking process. It brings out all the flavors. Add that. We're gonna add about three tablespoons of olive oil and a nice little pinch of salt and some freshly plucked pepper. This is fun, huh? We're gonna give this a nice toss. That's almost good to eat right now, but I'm going to put it under the broiler. And right, we're gonna put it in the pan, just like that. Now we have the broiler on. Under the broiler, we want to get this charred, not burnt. We give it a little turn once in a while. We don't want to char it too dark. Now it is done. Look at this. This, this is what we want. This is what gets me excited. And in our pot, we have already one can of plum tomatoes and four cups of uh, chicken broth. Make sure we get all the goodness in here, the yummy bits in here. This we're gonna to bring to a boil. We wanna cook off all any impurities. Once it's gone to a boil, we're gonna let it simmer. Cook about 30 minutes. We take our blender, easy peasy. Give it a couple of stirs. We want to blend all the goodness together. We want it rustic too. You don't have to worry about it being completely smooth. Yes. Now we're ready to serve. Our last step, we're gonna take some of the basil we had from our soup, from our garnish in the soup. Take a little bit of oil on top. I love it.